Inside a warehouse in New Jersey, there's proof that we've got the space and the technology to tackle the world's food crisis. Allison Morris here to show us how a local startup is producing affordable crops year-round. Yeah, guys, how many times have we talked on the news about floods, droughts, how they're impacting our sure. food and the prices? Mm -hmm. We talk about this all of the time. We have to worry about fruits and vegetables on the other side of the country making it to this side of the country and being more expensive because of the weather or having a shortage altogether. And then what about all of those listeria outbreaks? Let's not even go there. Imagine if we could produce our own vegetables in urban areas in cleaner and safer environments independent of the weather. Indoor farming is a hot new trend and one local company is cashing in. So food safety is really important for us and we make sure that any clothes from outside don't come into the farm. A visit to Bowery's farm starts with a uniform and some hand sanitizer. This vertically integrated farm inside a warehouse in Kearney, New Jersey is producing some seriously clean greens. Completely chemical free, so no pesticides, no herbicides, no fungicides, no insecticides. It is the purest produce that you could possibly get. The farm was founded by Irving Fain, David Golden and Brian Falder a few years ago. They brought in seven and a half million dollars in funding from some rock star investors, including top chef Tom Calicchio, and are now producing crops 365 days a year, regardless of the weather, using a lot less water. We're a hundred times more productive than the same square footage of land. We actually grow more than twice as fast as the field. We grow more crop cycles every year than the field, and we grow more yield in every crop cycle. And we save 95% of the water when we drop. Their hope is to help solve the global food crisis. We're going to have 9 to 10 billion people on the planet by 2050. We are going to need somewhere between 50 to 70% more food to feed that population. And while that change is happening, 70 to 80% of people are living in and around cities. So there's this major urbanization. And we saw that problem and we got really obsessed with this question of how do you provide fresh food to urban environments in a way that's both more efficient and is more sustainable. Start with LED lights. The lights that we use actually mimic the spectrum of the sun. So it's as if that plant is growing in the absolute healthiest environment for its entire life. About five years ago, Fain says the price of these lights dropped while their efficiency went up, making indoor growing commercially viable. So we're selling at either $3.99 for a five ounce clamshell or even $3.49 for a five ounce clamshell, which standard, is lower. Yeah, yeah so even lower than a lot of what you find in the field. Throw in the Bowery operating system which creates optimal growing conditions and they're able to churn out greens that are fresh, affordable and oh my god it's delicious. Yeah. And the farm is growing. We're already experimenting with different types of crops and other different skews that are outside of sort of the leafy green category. Right now you can find Bauer lettuce and basil in Tri-State Whole Foods and in Foragers Market in New York City. And the lettuce you will find there has often been harvested the same day it hits the shelves. Yeah, which is farming is doesn't get better than Huge. that. They don't have to put it in a truck. It's you right. look at the expiration dates and it's amazing. I got lettuce from them last week and it said, you know, sell by the 19th. And you realize that most of the vegetables we're getting have been sitting on a truck for two weeks. And that's why by right. the time and they and get they to fill us, fill them with gas and the whole thing to keep them looking mm -mm. fresh, like tomatoes. Fresh vegetables. What an idea! <laughs> yeah, right, right. right. Oh, I no. love that. <laughs>